This video will show you how to configure the Hobo UX120-017 for use with the T-VER E50B2 energy meter. It's very important that you read and understand the T-VER E50B2 manual and configure this device first before you start configuring the logger. Uh, the manual is very good. It has a lot of information about configuring it for different types of applications. So make sure that the E50B2 is configured specifically for your um, application and type of circuit you're going to monitor. Once the E50B2 is configured, go into Hoboware and connect your Hobo UX120-017, which we have connected. Click Launch Device. The launch screen appears, and what we want to do is under sensors, it says configure sensors to log. We want to select 4E50B2 power and energy meter. And you will see that the first three channels are configured for this device. The E50B2 outputs three different sets of pulses, one representing VAR hours or volt amp reactive hours, watt hours, and amp hours. By default, it, it sets it up for one VAR hour per pulse, one watt hour per pulse, and 0 0.01 or 10 milliamp hours per pulse. Be sure that this configuration matches what you have in your E50B2, because if it doesn't, your data will not be accurate. If you need to change the configuration in the UX120, click on one of these boxes, and it will give you the ability to Again, if you select reactive power, which this is, it's VARS, you select here, and it will give you the ability to change that value so that it will indeed match the configuration in your E50B2, and you can do that for all three channels. Once that's configured, you click Start, and you're off and running. For more information on using Hobo loggers and using Hoboware, go to Help, Hoboware Help, consult your Hobo where users manual or go to our website onsetcomp.com